Okay, in this video we'll just walk through the Ninja Forms integration with GeoDirectory version 2 beta. Uh, first of all, after you've got Ninja Forms installed, which you can do through the setup wizard as well, uh, simply go to Ninja Forms, add new GeoDirectory contact form. Now that's created the, uh, the contact form, that's all we need to do really. Uh, now if you want to add it to a details page. You can do that a couple of ways, but let's go to appearance widgets. We can once we've got Ninja Forms installed, we'll see this GD Ninja Forms widget. I'll drag that up to the sidebar. Select the contact form. This is the text for the button. We can have contact E, contact. Uh, we just want to show on selected pages, the details page. So now that we've saved that, if we refresh this, it's here. This is a widget, so we'll be able to do what widgets do and move it around, put it wherever, wherever we want. Uh, clicking on the button will give you the, the contact form. By default, the contact form isn't styled, um, so I like to go to Ninja Forms, Settings, uh, Opinionated Styling, let's set it to Light, and reopen that, yes, yeah, that's, that's a lot nicer. Uh, let's fill in a test form. You also can set up confirmation emails and things like that with uh, Ninja Forms. Let's go and have a look at that. Oh, sorry, dashboard. We can click the settings and we can go view submissions. You can see the, the email we just sent there, the listing ID, the name, who sent it, the email, phone number, and the message. So that by default, it will store all the submissions, but you can turn that off uh, if you want to in the settings. Simply go into the form, email actions, and you can turn off store submissions so it won't store it anymore. Uh, you can turn off sending an email confirmation to the user, uh, the email notification, the success message, uh, the email notification goes to the, we got our geodirectory menu item here and the listing email. And we'll get out of that. By default, it'll automatically blind carbon copy an email to the system email as well. So you will get an email as well as it being stored by default, but it's all changeable. Uh, working with Ninja Forms has been been great, easy, and I hope you'll find it great and easy as well. Let's exit with that. Uh, we can also add the form in different ways. Let's say we want it on the category page or the, the archive items. Uh, we can add a button here for each individual listing. So let's go to. Pages, we'll go to the GeoDirectory Archive Item template. And we can see everything in here is just short codes. If you have Gutenberg installed, which is the new editor for WordPress coming sometime later this year, uh, you can do it visually, but just now it's done with short codes. So let's say we want to let's close this window. We want to add a contact button below the image. Let's go to, this is the images shortcode here. And this is our wee button for adding our geodirectory widgets. All the, the shortcodes in here are exactly the same as the widgets. They call the same functions, exactly the same functionality, just all in widget and shortcode form and Gutenberg blocks when that comes out to 
select the GD Ninja form shortcode, uh, select our form, let's see, well, let's just leave it as contact form actually. Um, in the advanced settings, we have the setting post contact form. This is if it is contacting the listing owner, which in this case it is, so we tick it. Now, if the listing doesn't have an email address added to the listing, then it, it simply won't show the, the button at all. You can also output it as a link or just a button. And then click insert short code. It's added there. We'll click update. And if we refresh this page, we've got the contact form button here uh, with the exact same functionality. You can see who you're sending to. Uh, let's say we want to go to another one. Still tells you who you're sending to, and you can send that off. I think that's all the functionality for Ninja Forms.